New York region is actually the second busiest air destination in the world. Organizers for this new legislation say it is designed to protect everyone in the region and is somewhat based on the city's new vaccination pass that's set to go into effect in a week and a half. But it got significant pushback today. With a week and a half until you'll be required to show proof of vaccination to enter restaurants, bars, gyms, and theaters, some federal and local legislators want the same rule to apply here. When I'm going through security at, at JFK or LaGuardia, I have to show my, my passport, and I should be able to show my proof of vaccination as well. Richie Torres, member of Congress from the Bronx, not only introduced legislation requiring proof of vaccination to board a flight, he also wrote to the agency responsible for keeping air travel safe. To the Secretary of Homeland Security, calling upon his agency to immediately implement a vaccine mandate in the absence of legislation. There are dozens of flights landing in JFK and LaGuardia every single day from Texas, from Florida, from other hot spots. And there's no doubt that unvaccinated people on those flights are bringing the virus into New York City. City Council Health Committee Chair Mark Levine joined Congressman Torres. It was on the same day that United Airlines announced all of its employees must be vaccinated. As for passengers having to be vaccinated? Safer for everybody. We need to be making sure that those of us who have taken steps to actually properly protect ourselves and to protect our fellow citizens are actually you know, not being harmed by those who have it. Those are people whose families are flying today, but the congressman's office said they expect some opposition. Meanwhile... Government should not be imposing such a mandate on its people and on the small business owners. Congresswoman Nicole Maliotakis led local officials and business leaders in Staten Island in a protest against the city's vaccination requirement. The city does not have the right to tell us who we can serve for any reason. Now he, the congresswoman and other local legislators and business leaders in Staten Island filed a lawsuit today against the city demanding that the vaccination pass not be implemented. But at this point, it is set to do just that on August 16th.